There we go, loading the home page again. And you can see it's starting to come up and, it, and it's looking right. I mean, that's exactly the way it looks on IE6. Even that little extra graphic there, it's the same mistake you see on the real IE6 on, on, on a desktop computer. So it's a very accurate representation. Now, of course, since it hasn't finished loading, I still really can't do much. And you'll see there will be other slowness when um, panning around the browser in general. And it's been going for quite some time now, and we still don't have control of the browser. And there we go. It's finally done. You can see it works correctly. You know, this is some simple Ajax code. As it is IE Mobile 6, um, there's no PNG transparency support here. And the text again is automatically scaled in order to fit onto the 320 by 320 screen. It is a very good representation. There are flash ads, everything runs. So when it actually gets there, and sometimes it takes a while to get there, but when it gets there, the pages actually look exactly the way they ought to. Pull up the favorites again and um, you can see the mobile version of the website also works. And the way to control which one comes up for most sites, uh, let's see, is under view here desktop and mobile. If you use desktop it's going to identify itself as IE6 just like it would on a desktop computer. If you have mobile set here it will automatically detect on a lot of sites as a mobile browser and then it'll give you something like this instead. So um, while Microsoft's getting somewhere with this browser it, it's still not done and, and, and admittedly it isn't done. The browser we're going to see in future versions of Windows Mobile has dynamic zooming and other kind of things like that and, and hopefully a bit of optimization as, as well. But it's a start. I'm just not sure that this is going to be something people are going to want to use instead of Pocket IE. Um, it does do mobile websites well, uh, but I don't really think it's as desktop capable as you know uh, another browser like Opera 9.5 is, which you know considering it's the same amount of RAM, same amount of CPU processing power seems to do a much better job of handling the sites and also has dynamic zooming, you know, double tap in and out and everything like that. So anyway, just give you a quick look before we wrap up the other um, options in here. It's history. I'll turn off full screen for this. Refresh, some simple options. Set the default browser view. Languages. And of course you can set the home page and right now it's set to the sprint page. So in any case, that is our first look at IE Mobile 6 on the Sprint Trio Pro. I'm Michael Oral from MobileVern.com.